Next question is from Ty Finnicum. What are your thoughts on calorie cycling? Can you switch between very low calorie days and days at maintenance uh, be a, an effective strategy for fat loss? Uh, this is the best way to do it, in, yeah. in my opinion. And there's a couple reasons why. One is more important than the other. Let's start with a less important reason. I believe that doing this prevents the metabolic slowdown that comes from cutting your calories, or at least it mitigates it, right? So when you cut your calories, no matter what, uh, your, your, your body's always trying to match your calorie intake, and it, it, it's going to try to slow down your metabolism. Now, resistance training can help offset this. Nonetheless, you do it long enough, you're still going to see a metabolic slowdown. I think injecting higher calorie days tells the body that it doesn't necessarily need to do this, and, and it reduces that effect. And there's some studies support that support this. They show that people who do this tend to lose more fat and less muscle when they follow the strategy versus just going on a, on a total cut. Now, the more important reason for me is the psychological one. Yeah, This mimics real life more than eating the same calories all the time. So if you're following a macro, you know, if you're counting your macros or you're trying to eat a particular way, but you know eventually you're going to go off that and live a regular life, if you eat the same thing every single day, transitioning to transitioning from there to real life, it's going to be much harder than if you got used to the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. uh, that you know, that's normally how you eat. Do you know how I piece this together? I actually did not know about the the science to support it first, but I started to do it for the psychological reasons first. I mean, and that's so the most important. I remember with clients uh, that you know back when we used to give meal plans that that were very generic and the same thing basically and they were right around the same target, was getting these complaints of like feeling, oh, I'm so tired of it. Can mm -hmm. you do? And I have to rewrite another one, rewrite another one. One of the hacks that I found really quick was just giving these these drastic different targets. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, hey, today, and I would tell them like, you know, today we're focusing for the next two days, low cal. So I want you to stay at this calorie range. Here's your kind of food choices. Just don't go above that. And then on Thursday, I'm going to let you go to, you know, 2,800 calories. Mm -hmm. so we're going to have a good feed day. And then you, these are your food choices and give them like options like that. Mm -hmm. Just giving clients this, this variety of goals almost daily like that broke up the monotony of doing the same thing all the time, mm -hmm. and I had more success. This was before I found out later on that it was advantageous for them to do that for, because of how it mimics real life and then what it does for the metabolism. Yeah. It's so funny because we always try to like create this uniformity and, and create these sort of standardized ways like, well, I'm so disciplined that I, I'm so regimented. I do this all the time. But yeah, it's totally like undulating and, and, and allowing flexibility and all that. Like it mimics just uh, what, what you do in your life like already i think that it, it, it's always a lot more successful implementing strategies like this even with training too 